Hello and welcome to a new video about programming the our our special pixel dots here, yeah, color dots. Uh, today I want to check if I can manage to let them run with an ESP thir uh, 8266, I think this is ESP 8266. Yes, I have this 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 board here. And actually what I will try to do is to replace this Arduino Uno, which is working with 5 volt output signals, with this, with this one. Yeah? Then I need to download the software, but actually this should not be a big deal. If this could can understand the 3 to 3 volt logic level, high logic level of the ESP. We will see. So turn off the 5 volts here, unplug. Unplug, and now I just have to replace this. So this we can remove. Ground can also be removed, and this is gone. I will plug this in here uh, like that. So the ground goes to ground. This is here. So the ground connection is there, and we just need the digital. So we use one, one here, and I will use D1, because just... Okay, D1. Hardware was easy. Uh, hardware was easy. Plug it in, see if it's going up in smoke. No, no smoke. Looking good, looking good. All right, so let's switch to the computer and see if I turn on five volt, then smoke. Also no smoke, good. Good, let's try with the computer. All right, so at the computer, for actually, I think we just need to select uh, another board. It's here. So we have ESP32. No, it's an ESP. This one. Node MCU. Which one? I don't know, I'll just try one. Good. Then COM4 because it's another COM board. And the LED pin is now D1, we said. Should work. Let's see if we can if we can build it. Okay, building was successful or not? No. The fast LED is not working. Try to upload it anyway. Maybe it's just warnings. Oh, it's uploading. It's uploading. Look at that! It's working. Okay, it's working. It was just warnings. It was just warnings. And it's working. Looking exactly as the way before. Let's see and try. To, to change to change the RGB values again. Let's make it red. Only a little bit blue. 
then we should see a red dot or a yellow dot and with red tail uploading looking nice actually yes ha this was easier than I thought huh this was as easy as I hoped and easy as I as I thought good good huh so this is working but now now we have an an Wi-Fi capable controller we can connect, con connect. <laughs> we can connect to MQTT, and when we are at MQTT, we can receive RGB values from somewhere simply somewhere. This is good. This is good. So actually, this is what we're going to do next. Yeah, hook this up to MQTT broker. I will use my my uh, libraries I've written for this, and then we see if we can manage the color somehow from somewhere. Huh? Cool. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.